And we are live. Welcome. Not sure whether I'll get anybody here this morning. Just a really random, random time for me to do the video. Uh, window is probably going to be a, a nuisance for some. And uh, guys, uh, I want to tell you something. We're going to the pool today. Yeah, we might go to the pool. We might go to the swimming. Yeah. Because it's going to be a really hot day today. It is a hot, hot day. Anyhow, I was doing some uh, cleaning up down here in this basement. It's not too clean, but maybe just some reorganizing. And uh, I happened to come across some more top loaders I bought whenever. I, ha I got three packs, and I think I've had them down here for quite a while, and I was going to the local card shop. Uh, asking, asking, asking. They didn't have any, didn't have any. And then, yes, I bought some, and then I guess I had these all along. So, and I've got some sleeves. And um, if you guys have been, well, not really watching my videos lately, but they're kind of earlier in the spring. No, I'll turn that off. Um, I was uh, kind of going through monsters and monsters of boxes of cards. It, uh, I had one here. I, I, I put these in here recently, and I'm just not sure what's in here anymore. So guys, I figured uh, we hang guys, out. I want to show you something. Wow. It's up there. All right. So, anyways, without further ado, let's see. I don't know how I'm going to do this here. How's it going? Say hello if you're in here. Hey, HW Rogue Beast from Morocco. Is it hot there? Is it hot, hot? Because it's hot here. Ken wants to go to the pool. I'm taking what about Canada? Well, here in Canada, in the, uh, I guess, kind of Great Lakes area, it is really hot, and then I hear out uh, east, or sorry, not out east, out west is stupid hot right now. In places where they don't normally get heat. My brother lives in Vancouver, and Vancouver is usually pretty, not mild, but uh, houses don't really come with air conditioning there because they don't really need need them. How are you doing? So yeah, I'm not sure whether we're going to get any of these cards graded. Just these ones were uh, kind of, uh, I guess, better ones. All junk box. So what card do you get? I am fine. Well, these are just all kind of random cards I, 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 I've set aside. Um, these are upper decks. Some Scott Erickson. And just because they're in good shape. I thought I would put uh, some sleeves around it. They're all strawberry. I don't think any of these are super valuable. Bobby, Bo Bobby Bonilla, everybody's favorite player that's still getting paid, I think. He took some kind of weird payout. Kirby Puckett. They're cool. Well, these ones are from uh, 1992, so I think well before you were born there, H.W., I'm not sure how old you are. Well, you said you're in high school. So I assume you're about 15 to 16, 17. And then we got the uh, playoff, Steve Avery. Um, are they rare? No, these ones are definitely not rare. No, you can uh, find these just about anywhere. But... Uh, Figure I haven't been on a, on in a while. I just graduated. I mean, eighteen. Do you have a Do you have a license? You drive yet? I've har I've hardly even. Uh, we got an Albert Bell slugger. Guys, guys, look at this. And there's Ken. Rusty's upstairs sleeping. And guys, look what inside. Cars. Cars. See? Cars. 
Cars. Ken, are we going to do some racing here in a minute? Look at Daddy. Daddy. Oh. Daddy. Yeah. How's it go? Yeah. HW Ropey says, hello. Hey, Fever Addict. Are you still in lockdown? No, we uh, we can do just about everything except uh, go get a haircut. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the, the, the movie theater is going to open up pretty soon because all of a sudden this week we have uh, uh, movie previews on the TV. And uh, we did get some. We have been buying some cars. But uh, hopefully today we'll race. How's it going, HW Fever? I think you said you're in Florida. I wonder what it's like in Florida. Believe it or not, on the desk there, I did, right behind me, I did sort out uh, those uh, the bump and grind bracket again. I had to rewatch it because I was confused on what I what I had done and left. So, um, just going to go through these cards and maybe we'll end this video fairly sh shortly. And while my other little guy, he's sleeping, we will finally, finally finish off the bump and grind. <laughs> Bump and grind back uh, bracket. Dave Rigetti. I only sleeve him because he sounds like spaghetti. We got a Doug Simmons. Why would I put this in here? I don't know. I don't know who that guy is. Jeff Conai. I don't think any of these are. Doug Gooden. He's good. What else is new, guys? HW Fever, um, have you been racing much? I, I haven't really been watching or, or racing. Um, summer Summertime takes over, and uh, we don't really uh, get down here as much, but it's just so hot uh, the, these last few days. For us, anyways, we don't really want to go outside for too long. That's why Ken wants to go to the pool. Yeah, the cool cars off. Are you gonna jump in again today? Maybe. Maybe. You gotta get used to getting your head wet, bud. Yeah. Cause you're gonna go off to like another, your friend's house pool or something and, and you're gonna wanna do that. Okay, a Sean Dunstan. I don't think I'm gonna sleep him. Jack Mars. Should he be in the Hall of Fame? Tanny, look who it is. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Tesla? How's it going? You stuck in traffic? You know, with all with all the American news we get up here, uh, I've been thinking about you guys down there. In the Georgia. It never stops being busy, but just got a new job. Working remote indefinitely. So you're just working from home? The broker. How many how many cars have, how many hot wheels have you sold this month? Probably more than I bought. Gary Carter. Sure. Sure, Gary. Juan Bell. I have no idea who that is. I thought these were better cards in here. That's why I'm going through this. Andres Galarraga. Little nicked edge. I'm gonna make my ROK ba bags. Not sure if I want to go on with the channel. Yeah, you were you were saying that HW. Um, you you were, you were saying that uh, a little while ago. But I've done it before. I've I've just been I've we've been making videos. We're gonna have from home, but it's, it's you know you see some maybe I'll have to go up to Niagara, yeah. Anytime, buddy. 
Anytime. Lots of room. Well, currently the, the border's still slammed shut, so um, wait a little while. Uh, I don't know what the rhetoric uh, or propaganda, whatever you want to call it, but, uh, you know, we're all surviving here. Our numbers are down. Hopefully, they'll, and, and, and people are starting to get vaccinated, vaccinated now that all the – or the majority of the U.S. has been vaccinated. We're finally getting some vaccines. Do you got your two shots there, Tanner? I got one. Ooh, like it's going to make a difference. Ryan Suter. Well, since there's a USA guy here. Hold on. They're just stuck, guys. Selling out of the game. No more, no more Hot Wheels. No more bro brokering the Hot Wheels. Sports cards and antique coins next. Well, yeah, I, I, I want, I really want to get some graded. I don't really have the cash anymore to grade. I, I should have been grading them and finding them all uh, last summer when grading was, I guess, start, just starting to come into vogue but uh okay. i can go get another box of, of stuff that uh is definitely worth it um if you guys are mar if you want there's arguments for uh i'm just ready yet. <laughs> there's arguments for selling comic cards as well um meaning that uh spider-man he uh he can't uh, he can't tear his Achilles and go out of style. Sure, they can keep printing them, but you know once they put that copyright date on, they really can't print them anymore. Um, and uh, vintage coins, eh? I got some co coins down here as well, somewhere. So um, if you're looking for a hot, I, I think that like in the last year, these things have really, really, really skyrocketed. I've, I've, I've taken the time to sleeve them all, right? And, and they're all virtually in mint shape. Uh, the longer I look at the cards, I still, I just can't, on most of them, if not all of them, I can't find any flaws. And when you're trying to get them graded, you, you, you can't have any dings, any marks or nothing. And uh, most of these, so if you go to eBay and you look up, uh, 1990 uh, Marvel cards. Um, you'll see the ones that are graded 10. They're, they're, they're guys are asking for like 200 bucks a card. So I've got like the mall, and these ones have really good pictures. So like uh, and and the one uh, I'm gonna say it's like the Big Bang Theories. Uh, if you if you're a fan of Big Bang Theory, you're gonna need this card. Hold on, hold on here, folks. Don't worry, guys. Uh, I'll find it. I'll find it. Guards to get graded. Um, oh, dear. It's just way too many. Guards to get graded. Where's those Stan Lee? Anyways, you look up Stan Lee, uh, 1990 Marvel, and guys, uh, as a 10, guys are trying to get a 1000 bucks for them. So they're, they're uh, hot and heavy. Where'd it go? Either way, I'll show you some more of these uh, Marvel cards. Like all my videos are kind of get broken down. So they just have really good pictures. Iron Man. Anything Spider-Man. Guys love Spider-Man. 
comic books were really never really my thing. So I can get these all graded. Um, even then, I don't know why I, I sleeve them and put them in a box because like they, they really do get folded over. So I'm kind of worried just seeing these just sit here. I just I just sleeved them not long ago and they're already folding over a little bit. Do, 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 do. So we got the number one card here. The front of the set is, I guess, what you're looking for. You know, you get like a uh, Captain America there. All right. And then they go through all of them. So here's a Spider Man. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. So if you can get yourself a box of this stuff, um, I suggest it because you're going to get pretty much a whole set in the box. And I've had these since I've, I, I've been a kid. And they've basically been straight from a pack into these into uh, a box. And now I've, I've sleeved them. And, and if you can kind of see how that is starting to fold over, that's eventually going to curve that corner and kind of fuck up a 10. Sorry, Ken, I swore. Forgot you were down here. Nick Fury. And then, like, you got the thing. And you just, just tap in. 1990 Marvel cards, and they are going insane online. I got a few more uh, comic book style cards here to show you that I think might pick up, but the, the pictures aren't as good, and uh, it's DC, so. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Watch out. Go ahead. Okay, what do we got in here? Oh, I'll show you these just just uh, in the meantime. I opened up the wrong box, but so if you guys are Magic fans, um, uh oh, I got a phone call here. Hold on. Hello. I don't think that was anything. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it was the government calling me, and they don't call you. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, they had these. Uh, everybody was trying to get in the game of having um, like a magic style card game. And so these ones were hockey cards. And uh, I never really did learn how to play. It came with dice. And. Uh, yeah, so we don't have to go through all these. Mike Gardner, there's a Hall of Famer there. So it says offensive skate winner, winger shot, Jeff Friesen. So that's kind of neat. Baseball. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a second to talk about your car's extended warranty? <laughs> no, I don't have a. I don't. I don't want to talk about my car's extended warranty. Or I like when I go into a store and I buy. Some for five bucks, and they're like, "Do you want the warranty on that?" Nope. Do I want a pain in my ass if I ever want to claim a warranty? Okay, so here we got DC Comics, and they're kind of nice too. But the the, the, the pictures just don't seem. As, 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 as colorful or as good. And these ones are 1991 DC Comics. So I'm not really sure. And these ones have, you can get holograms in them as well. Um, the one hologram I have, it's, it's, it's going for big, big doozy dollars as well. But until they're graded, they're just paper. Um, the, the whole thing there, Tanner, it's, it's, it's all gone graded. And you send them in. And you wait, and you wait, and when you think you're done waiting, you wait a little longer. So there's those ones. Those would be my second favorite. A little box of those. And then uh, these guys here would be my third favorite. I just don't like the colors on them. 
And even that, I just don't really know much about Justice League. But these were from 1993 Skybox. And and just like everything in the car business these days, uh, it is going crazy. And my brother was kind of explaining to me, and he's, he's a smarter dude than I am. It's because the governments, they just keep printing money. So your money kind of is, is not as valuable. But they, for example, they can't really keep printing these these beautiful lady of cork cards with the big boobs. And it's funny uh, when you go through these and you start looking at um, guys are just so uh, let's just say guys because Ken's down here like anything with a with a with a good looking woman they they go for they go for good money <laughs> I've noticed. And then uh, there's the flash. And I don't have time for that. Well, then they're just paper. You can take any any card um, that's not graded, and, and, and guys just aren't going to trust that it's going to be worth anything. I can find some rookie cards for so, for example, here, let's see here. I don't know where I put it. Okay. So, here's one that's going to shoot up here in a little bit. When he finally does retire, Yamir Yager is going to hit the, the Hall of Fame basically the next day. So, this is a 1990 score. Daddy, yes. Look at this. Oh, he got a big turn there. Just money pot. What's a money pot? So let me look up this Yammer Yager first draft. Pardon here. Pardon me here, boys. And even then, like a PSA 9 just docks it way down from a 10th uh, score. Okay, so some guy's trying to get this card here. I don't know the shape it's in, but it's like raw, if you will. Near Mint NRMT Plus. He wants $3.99 for it. Then... If I t type in, uh, well, that's not so good either, but it's a crappy grading company. Um, so, yeah, if you want Beckett to, to grade it, the same thing, grade it at 9.5, they're trying to get uh, $395 Canadian for it. And sure, you can go to the sold items. I'm sure, Tanner, you know eBay better than I do. Um, a PSA grade eight, thirty-one dollars sold. A ten is two hundred bucks on PSA sold. So it's either like five bucks Dad, Dad, or Daddy, yes. Look, look it, one's gone. It's right there. Right on, right on. That card. And Daddy, there's one card in jail. Well, we'll keep, we'll keep going with the goods here, buddy. Um, yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I'm just going to be over here. Okay, buddy. Yep. Because I want to play, play this and park all, all these square garages full with cars. All right. So maybe... maybe. And then, and then, I, and then I'm going gonna, gonna to race them all the way down to here. All right. And whoever knocks off doesn't does win. Okay. Okay, buddy. So um, I've got the early '90s because that's when my parents were going around to card shows and selling. So whoever doesn't get knocked over, they they don't get. They're gonna move on. Uh, yeah, and then they win. Uh, I'm gonna type in what not, what not. What not? A 
but not options. Um, speaking of, of, of new sites, uh, I, I play uh, baseball and it'll be the show. And the odd time I turn on this guy on Twitch and uh, he plays this uh, game called Geo Guess, Geo Guesser. And it's, it's right up my alley. It, 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 it takes, you, you go in and it plops you down somewhere, anywhere in the world that uh, uh, the Google truck's been to. And you got to guess exactly where it is. And this guy online, he's really good. But um, I got to I gotta check out that Geo Guess. And I'm thinking I'm actually going to pay for it because it only lets you play one time per 24 hours. And maybe that's just the best way to get you to pay for a uh, slightly used game or, or uh, an online game because I never pay for those. So we get a Lemieux. And these things, you know, this is probably this fourth or fifth year card. 89.90, whatever, it was 86 or 85. You know, if, if I don't get these graded, I'll have to check out that whatnot. We got a Brodeur here. Um, and I got scorecards coming out the. The Yin and Yang, Eric Lindros. This is a big chase card here. Um, Gretzky, you can never go wrong with Gretzky's. Although, and, and, oh, another thing about Gretzky and, and Joe Montana, I don't find the, 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 unless it's a rare Joe Montana or early, I don't find them to be too valuable because I think everybody, even the 80s, were pretty careful at uh, saving up their. Joe Montana's even more than Jordan. Basically, any Jordan ten is going to be big bucks. Oh, look at that, Daddy! I built another thing. Jordan hologram. Dad, Daddy, yep. look! I built another thing. You put it. You fixed it. Yep. All right. Daddy, and uh, Dad, Daddy, I'm gonna clean my pop parking garage. I collected everything as a kid, so here's a sticker, Patrick Waugh. Panini, that's eighty nine ninety. So I was five, but I only just put it in a top loader here recently. I don't think you get stickers graded. Back in the eighties, they made them cards any size, small, big. There's a Brian Trache. Brian Trache, he played. Um, he played with my uh, my cousin. My cousin Billy Harris, he was the first. I, that's a rookie card I want to get, <laughs> or another card I want to get. My cousin was the first ever draft pick of the Islanders, Bill, Billy Harris, 1972, the expansion draft there. And uh, Billy Harris, he played for the Toronto Mar Marlies, and his his line, I don't know whether it's been matched since. Um, he, he went first. Um, Steve Shutt and Dave Gardner, they were all gone within the first nine picks. Got to hop into a meeting in your five minutes, but look up the Hot Wheels. But look up the Hot Wheels Ferrari Star exclusive Enzo. Look up Hot Wheels Ferrari Star exclusive Enzo. Okay, I'm going to copy paste that. Yeah, we're going to get going soon here, too. Uh, it's fun to hang out uh, with the. Uh, Hot Wheels Enzo Blue, $110. I don't know if I'm looking up the right thing. Maybe just send me a link. Link, link. Uh, okay. Back here. Yeah, it's good to it's good to be back down here. This this basement was kind of a disaster. Like all those there, that's all full of cards that I've kind of gone through, and this place was nuts. Uh, da, da, da. those are football. I am looking for one specific. I did find the Jeta, the Jeter that you want. Trouble is, I've got so many cards here that I want to get graded. What are these? Oh, what are these? No. Turtle threat. <laughs> I want to get that graded. Speaking of stuff I want to get graded, I'm curious on some of these non-sports cards once again. 
But he doesn't have time. Tanner, I thought you would have all kinds of time to get your stuff greeted. With all that traffic you're in. But now you work from home, as you said. Come on, boys. Out of there. So, I, as a kid, I scratched all these off. You had these Zelda cards. Oh, Nintendo. And that was kind of fun. 1989 on these. So let's find... First, find the arrow in area one. Left side of card to advance to area two. Right side of card. Second, uncover three sword strikes to win area two. Find three fireballs and you lose. You must uncover one arrow and three swords to win. <laughs> so, I remember those. I do have an unopened pack of that. I don't think I'm going to... Here's another Jordan. You got a shack near a rookie card. It's kind of why I'm here is just to get these things organized a little bit better. Got a Jordan. The way I found them, they were all in just kind of the George. Why not another Jordan? These uh, gold bordered Fleers, I think they're they're starting to pick up. This isn't where I should be looking. Uh, oh, that's because it's all I did. I did sort these out, didn't I? Anyways, long story short, I'm looking for the Derek Jeter, the Derek. The, the Derek Jeter. Here's a here's a rookie card for you. Cheap box too. Um, Bill Belichick. Look up his pro set, or even this card here. Um, guys are after this. So there's three of them there. Heard he was a good football coach at one time. Um, Brett Five. Yeah, Brett, Brett Favre was such a, a nobody that his, one of his rookie cards is just him sitting on the bench. Um, when he was an Atlanta Falcon, I used to hear, uh, speaking of the Falcons, um, they're, I don't think, oh, hey, we got, we got uh, guys, Gary, Gary. Guys, we'll look behind you. Wow. Ta-da. Ta Ta-da! What are you doing there? I'm trying, I'm going to fix. How this is Mimi. How's this Mimi, Daddy? I wasn't expecting to get into these cards. Those are all baseball. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Huh. Now I'm now I'm kind of stumped as to where I'm uh, gonna find these. Here's some Chris Webbers. I think I've showed these before. I I'm trying to find my the Derek Jeter. Here's an Ali Gold. I found this at the bottom, right at the bottom of a box, just a, like a big moving box. And uh, unfortunately, it's got a little bit of a peel at the top there. These are really fun cards. They, uh, um, I'm not much of a boxing fan, but the literature on the back of them is, is, is quite good. Um, telling you about these old guys that would fight like 30 round fights. And you'd see their records, it's like, I'm just making it up, but like like 200 wins, 300 losses. It's like they fought every day. Come on. I don't think that's it. Where the heck? 
If it's not in these boxes, then I don't know where it is. It's worth it if I find it. Daddy, I forgot I even had a parking garage. Yeah, it's been a while since you played those. Oh, we got lots. Got to head out. Good catching up. Message me sometime. I definitely will, buddy. Um, so this was all bent up with back in the day. The old cage match. I don't know who. Ready for war. I don't know who he's fighting against. The Hulkster. Oh, King Kong Bundy. Is, I was only two. Uh, 1985 Titan Sports. There's only two when this came out. It's pretty rung up, pretty bad, but some of these Hulk Hogan cards, even graded as a seven, come in pretty good as far as value. Daddy, what? can you pause that? Uh, no. But I'm going into the bathroom. I know. It'll be fine. Just, just go ahead. Here's one. <laughs> As I was saying a little earlier, if there's a good looking girl on it, guys seem to want to collect it. So that's Randy. Uh, watch your man, Randy Savage's wife there, I guess. And uh, But maybe not so if you have these. Luna. I don't want to go after those ones. Zelda fans, we've got a score to settle. I can't believe I can't find. Here's kind of a funny one. If there's anything that's Canadian and going back to the 90s, the guys were like just making cards of anything. So, and it's a sticker. It's in French, so I don't really know what it says. But uh, that's from 1992. Someone actually manufactured that. Police Mounties. Cheap stick. You got these garbage pail kids. These are, once again, collectible, I guess. Pepto Dismal. Gotta love a play on words. Uh, I'm batty over video. Hmm. Those, those early sayings. I don't know what we got. Scents, copper flavor. Fresh from the mint. Swallow a scent, cough up a dollar. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, Jerkins Wild Soap cleans up dirty words. Oh, uh, yeah. We always had those threats. You know, wash your mouth out with soap. It's it's time for video games. Here's one I didn't scratch. So Super Mario Two cards. <laughs> they they made them all. It says uh find. An arrow in the first area to advance. Find th three grabs or three throws to win. Find three black ninjas and you lose. Uh, come back. You know what? I, I never even knew this. these little black hostess guys were nin called ninjas, black ninjas. But that's what it says. We got link cards. It's, I think it's obviously the same set. Kind of neat what they used to do back in the day. And then Double Dragon. Nintendo just had... So, they got to bring Double Dragon back. We got a classic Corvette logo there. What we got here? Lots of baloney. Hot air. Mayor Oscar. Uh, Oscar the Mayor. Campaign speech is approved by the Liars Club. <laughs> These are kind of funny. 
1988 Opeachy. Uh, have a ball with Mario. Mario. Okay, back to the search. Back to the search because I'm kind of getting not worried. But uh, I don't think I put them in the right God, guys, spot. Guys, look at this. Oh. Ken's over at the couch doing his traffic. Yeah. yeah. And, and this aeroplane is back, back to go. And it's, and it's or, or really flying. There's three cars in it. So unfortunately, I have the wrong San Vincent. How's it going, Lazy Low? Welcome. I'm just kind of hanging out, showing some cards, looking for some cards. My uh, idea of sleeving cards kind of got derailed. More like a show and tell. But Sam Vincent, if you get the one in this set that uh, it has Michael Jordan wearing 12, it's worth quite a quite a big penny. Um, another Chris Webber, more Chris Webber, lots of Chris Webber. Was I already in this? Yeah, I was already in these. One to two four, which which is two four. Okay, guys, this parking garage is so cool because you can switch the switch on here. Yeah. Switch the switch. Like to here. Yeah, buddy. That's all basketball. Where the hell? What's in here? Oh, I need to clear. Clear basketball. Just going to have to take them all out. But we're going to get going soon because Russ is going to get up. My other little guy. This is Dad, Dad, Daddy. A ball was stuck in here. A ball, ball was stuck in here. That's not what I'm looking for. Huh? Yeah. Was it? Yeah, I was stuck in here. You got it out? Yeah. Good. You can do stuff. You're you're a good guy. You know that? You're 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 one of the smartest guys I know you can. I'm not sure about these guys who are watching me just fumble through cards. I'm kidding. Yeah, Daddy, <laughs> I, I want this parking garage back back upstairs. Because right. I want to use this thing back back again. Because I, I, I don't want her to use this because it's a lot of noise, and I want somebody, like, if I want to be alone, and the rest of I don't know that you guys got enough room upstairs anymore. So we got Whitney Houston. We're just going to go through it because I, I am specifically searching for something. Marcus Naslin, not so fun. Here's a man ram. That's a rookie, I think. Trevor Hoffman. <laughs> Sometimes sports cards is just like so funny. Like, hey Shaq, just stand there with two balls. Like, what a what a picture. Alonzo Morning. Good, we'll help you up there. Alonzo Morning was a lot more popular than I than I I knew he was popular, but uh, looking at some of the values of his cards, I don't think he ever won a championship. I always feel like a, a championship win really helps out the value, unless, unless you're Mike Trout. Okay, what is going on with these cards? Not to get caught. Yeah, sorry. I saw somebody got me, and then, and then I was trying to run, and then, and they got me. Oh. Ah! Okay, 
Okay, we already did those before. Well, let's just take out the baseball. Maybe it's in here. All right, what are we at here? 45 minutes. We'll do another we'll do another 5 minutes or so. And we'll get going. And uh, guys, so we got Ken Griffey. Guys. Our Nolan see, Ryan. Guys. Yes. Did, didn't you see this? They can't really. It's pointing like behind me, not so much over there. We got a Ronald Alcuna Jr. Found that. I couldn't believe Walmart oh, actually a few yeah, years ago. This way, Daddy. We got a, a Shohei Otani rookie, so he can just keep going crazy. Okay, God bless. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in, bud. God, God. Daddy, turn the. the, 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 the well, that. Here's one of them I was looking for, but it's not the G and then, cheat. And then you can go I think the tops cheater is worth more. But this guy, this this cheater here fetches a pretty big penny. We're going to keep that one off to the side. What's up, bud? Mm, no, oh, okay. no, I got too much stuff that's going to knock off. Can Griffey, anybody remember those yellow borders? We got tons of it. Um, Bo, Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson is one of those names that I find that guys like to collect. Bo Jackson, Ken Griffey Jr., Nolan Ryan. Mm. Not so much Mike Piazza, I guess. Then again, I, I grew up in Toronto, so I always forget that, you know, people really like their sports stars. Um, from wherever they played in their city. Jose Canseco. What is... There's a Jeter rookie card. Eventually, I, as you can see, I got too many cards, but uh, I would like to get these graded and sell some of them. Daddy, what is this thing? Oh, that's for... Um, it's a camera holder. I don't know what that is. You going upstairs? Nope. No. I'm right here. One of my only Mike Trouts. I'm, I'm at, I'm at I didn't really collect too much until the last I'm one. I'm at my, my parking garage. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you, you like that again. Both of you boys haven't played that in a while. Just more random baseball. I, I guess I already missed out on a Guerrero Jr. rookie. Really would like one of them. Just just a basic, basic card. Like I'll trade the this guy. Oh. Here's an early Jeter. Jeter's one of those names that gets collected. If you're if you're a pure Yankee and you want a chip chip, in my mind. They just write their own ticket. Why? Right. I'm actually kind of rattled. I can't find what I'm looking for. Here's a kind of an interesting card. Um, yeah. So Mark Jackson is kind of a nothing player. But if you look at the guy sitting next to my thumb, those are the Menendez twins. And so as twisted as this world is, but those guys on this card, it makes it, you know, collectible. And I got two of them. <laughs> so how I came upon all these cards is my parents, um, when I was a kid, we would do all the card shows and this and that. And we kept them all forever. And they're kind of getting on in age, so I've started to go through the basement. And uh, I haven't really touched too many sets, but, you know, the ones that said traders or, you know, 
duplicates or they weren't sorted, I would I, I would sift them. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. I heard he was pretty good one day. He was a shack. This is uh I don't know what I'm doing. 93 Skybox. You always have Shaq slamming the rim. Unless he's holding the ball. Same with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan always got good pictures. So here's one that's interesting. It's in really, really good shape. But um, it's twisted. If you, whoop, if, you, if you look at the bottom corner here, um, it's, there's less white space as it gets up to here. And I don't see it happening in, in, in any of the other cards in that set or series. So here's a Bill Belichick. These things are worth a penny or two. Yeah, here's the one. Brett Favre just sitting on the bench. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Here's another one. I'm looking for top loaders. Top loaders. Oh my gosh. Hey, this is all more. I thought I, the last time I was in here, I organized a little more. So we got a Jeter, the second Jeter. Not the one I'm looking for, though. Uh, Pedro Martinez. A couple more Chip Jones. If you're still in here, is it just me? Just say hello. Um, I'm just going to wash through here and look for what I'm looking for. What's up? No, just walk around. Or Michael Jordan. Okay, here we go. This could be it. This could be it. So, um, these guys, these the Michael Jordans here. Story about these ones is is I'm pretty sure they were my brothers growing up, but somehow they ended up in my stuff. Um, and so I was telling him about you know getting cards graded and this and that, and he's not really in the in the, in the game, so. He, he, want, he, he was just in town. He wanted me to bring one. And uh, let's just say we made it a little bit more more rare and valuable. Our puppy box, bo boxer dog, well, he ended it. He uh, he made a one and only. I was, I was ticked. These things are like a couple hundred bucks. Anyways, the dog got it. And here it is. I, fin I finally found them. Hooray! There it is. Bum, bum, bum. This one graded a 10. You guys are trying to get a grand. And it's... It's going to have to be something pretty minute because uh, I keep looking and looking and looking. And I don't, I don't see... I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, what started me to get those boxes, I finally found 50 minutes later. We got three of the Stanley um, Mr. Marvel cards. And uh, just to cure my own curiosity. So nine, someone's trying to get 135 bucks. I think I got tens. We all think we got tens. 
yeah, guys trying to get our best offer. 1,000, 47, 45 cents for a PSA 10 of that guy. Grand, good, grand, good. Someone bought a PSA 10, $862. Now, whole set. All right, guys, we're going to end it there. I think I found what I was looking for. I got to resort these once again. But, anyways. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we will get back to Hot Wheels racing at some point. I got I got a fairly decent mess of crap around here. I got to clean up. But anyways, as always, until next time, guys, keep those tires pumped and racing.